Hello everyone, it's Jean. Um, I'm just going to do another little how-to. Um, and this time it's a sort of a, a type of um, accordion folder. Um, and it isn't my idea, this design. I actually got this idea from Zoe Tofield. Um, but she's a paper crafter, so she did all hers in paper. Um, but when I looked at the design, I thought, hmm, I wouldn't mind having a go at that in uh, in fabric and lace. So we'll have a go with it. Now, I have to tell you, I started this and as per usual, I forgot to switch the camera on. So I'm going to just start with the basics and then I'll show you where I've got up to. Um, this is just a piece of felt and you need a piece 26 and a half inches long by eight and a half inches wide. You can use felt if you want. I've actually used um, fusible bosel. Uh, it's fusible on both sides, so I've been able to iron my fabric um, on to the bosel. But you know, you can you just use whatever you've got. Um, so you might want to just choose your fabric first. Um, but whatever you do, you need to cover both sides. Um, but I'll give you the measurements first. So you need to, um, as I say, you need it 26 and a half inches long. And you need to have four panels that are five and a half inches wide on each one. And just sew a line down each five and a half inch. And then when you get to the last one, uh, you should have four and a half inches left. My um, felt is a little bit short because uh, I ran out, but I, I didn't bother piecing it because I'm not using this. Um, so the last, the last piece is four and a half inches and you want to measure half an inch in and then just sew lines down every eighth of an inch. I've just done this roughly and um, now I'm going to show you where I've got up to so I'll just go over these measurements again you need a piece of uh, whatever you're using for um, the base you need it 26 and a half inches by eight and a half and you need four panels five and a half inches wide uh, and you should be left with four and a half inches did I say four five and a half inches wide and you should be left with four and a half inches at the end and then for half an inch just draw just sorry so lines about eighth of an inch apart uh, it doesn't really matter just so long as you've got a few lines down there um, and I'll show you um, what we'll end up with so as I say I've used Bosel and uh, so this is what mine looks like and as you can see it's covered with I've covered it with this lace that I've just lightly tea dyed and um, I want mine I don't mind it being all the same on the inside including the flap um, but on the outside I'll, I better show you how it works so as I say it's like a an accordion folder so it will work and I want it to look like a, a little pouch so what I've done I've done the these two panels here so it's the second and third from from the end from the end of the five and a half inch I've covered with this same lace let me take these pockets off you'll see what I mean I've only pinned them on um, yeah, so um, I covered those with lace and then for these pieces that because I want it to look different on the outside, I've covered that, those two end pieces and this first end piece with that fabric. I've, um, it is fairly plain so that, you know, if I want to decorate it, I can do and it's not going to clash with anything. And um, and then when I've done that, I've put some lace on the bottom so that when it's folded over, that's 
that's how it's going to look and you can see I've done all these lines so that I've not got a definite spine here um, it will allow it to just fold over um, it's up to you whether you put the lines in it will fold over on its own but um, I just wanted to give it a bit of definition uh, and it does allow for it to expand a bit I mean obviously we don't want this too thick um, but it, it, it is going to do when we start start filling it up so that's where I'd got up to so just show you it's all the same you decorate it however you want but it's all the same inside the two panels from this five and a half inch at the end are covered like it is with the inside or you could use something different uh, and then this five and a half inch first panel and the five and a half and the four and a half are covered with the same fabrics all right I've just finished my edges um, with the overlocker, but you know, that's not necessary as I've said before. Um, with the flap, I'm not quite sure whether I want to leave it uh, squared off like that or whether I want to round it. I've not made my mind up yet. So I'm gonna leave it as it is because I can always do that at a later stage when I've decided what laces I want to put on. Um, I might put doilies at the front or I've just not made my mind up yet, so I'll just leave it like that. Um, and then I'd got as far as uh, putting the pockets. This is sort of the outside. I call it the outside. Um, and I'd chosen this lace uh, to go down to make pockets. Like that. And these measure eight and a half by whatever lace you've got you know um i mean obviously you don't want it too wide but this is i don't know i've not measured it this is um it's two and a half inches wide so that is just about ideal um because i also want to uh, pin things on here uh, so that everything inside i'm going to make it reusable again um with laces and different things but we'll see see how we go um so that's where i've got up to now um as i say i'm, I'm sorry about not showing you right from the beginning but uh, uh, i don't know i just just forgot about sw switching the camera on and i'm there merrily talking away to myself and then when i came to play it back <laughs> uh, there was nothing there so um yes yeah, so i'll leave it there and um, I'm going to work out, so I'll just pin these back on and then I know that they want to go. I'm pinning everything because um, I shall want to sew them. I, sh I shall sew as much as I possibly can, um, but obviously there's nothing to stop you from, uh, from gluing if that's your preference. My machine's always out, so it's easy for me to just get up and move across the room. Um, yes, so they'll make nice pockets. And uh, then for the inside, um, it's that way because that's the flap. Um, then we'll start decorating. Um, and I'm going to make, I shall put pockets, different things. I don't want them all the same. So I'm going to work out what I want to do and then before I put them in, I'll show you so that if you want to do the same or a variation, um, you can see what I've done. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.